we're set to see a revolution in the way we commute. So let's take a look at how these innovative companies are breaking ground and creating the most insane flying machines. Before checking modern flying machines, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to see how we got here. Man has always been fascinated with flying, and as far back as the late 15th century, engineers like Leonardo da Vinci have devised flying contraptions like the ornithopter to mimic bird wings. The Italian scientist also conceptualized the aerial screw, the precursor to the modern helicopter. Several years after the Renaissance, the Wright brothers began a revolution in aviation when they designed and flew the world's first airplane. This achievement came nearly four decades after Carl Benz created the world's first automobile. By nature, cars are quite heavy because of their engine and frame, and adding propellers and wings to make it fly would only make it heavier and make flight harder. And while modern manufacturers design cars with better aerodynamics than their predecessors, they're not quite right to generate enough lift like a plane. Despite these challenges, engineers have tried with some luck to design hybrid vehicles that combine the features of a car and a plane, with some of the most noteworthy being the Aerotic PL5C and the Convair Model 118. But perhaps one of the most impressive attempts at combining both vehicles was the Aero Car. American engineer Moulton Taylor designed this rotable aircraft with the intention of creating a car that could become an airplane and back again. Its earliest prototype had foldable wings that allowed the road vehicle to switch to flight mode within five minutes. Thus, with a detachable propeller that could reach top air speeds of 110 miles per hour and a driving speed of 60 miles per hour, Moulton Taylor was set to change the world. Unfortunately, the aero car failed to take off in popularity, and when it failed to meet its expected pre-order numbers, production ended. Since then, several companies and individuals have tried to create a practical car and plane hybrid without much luck or are currently stuck battling technological and certification barriers. Xpeng X2 if there's any company that can make flying cars a possibility within the next decade, it's certainly China's Xpeng Aero HT. As a subsidiary to the renowned electric vehicle company Xpeng, the manufacturers have been around since 2014 and have been working tirelessly to transform the future of mobility. Today, they're closer than ever to making that a reality. In 2022, one of their standout inventions, the Xpeng X2, dazzled a crowd of over 150 attendees at Skydive Dubai during its first public display. Despite Xpeng Aero HD being a Chinese company, Brangu, the vice chairman and the president of Xpeng said, Dubai is a world-renowned city of innovation, which is the reason we decided to hold the X2 first public flight event here. And hey, there, there is a lot of truth to that, and we'll get into it in a moment. During the showcase, the audience marveled at the two-seater electric flying car that could manage maximum speeds of 81 miles per hour hovering over their heads, with panoramic views of the cityscape as the perfect backdrop. It was an excellent glimpse into the future of urban commuting, especially considering the flying car doesn't produce any carbon dioxide, making it perfect for upward sustainability trends. With its sleek and futuristic carbon fiber design, the Xpeng X2 isn't just, you know, fancy to look at. It's also equipped with multiple safety features, including a ballistic parachute and an autonomous return to home function. That's right, the X2 comes with two driving modes, including a manual mode that lets the pilot driver take charge and an autonomous mode for a hands-free and safe flying experience. After undergoing over 6,000 hours of flying test time, Xpeng announced their plan to move to mass production by 2025 and estimate that their flying machine will retail at around $156,000. I mean, that's cheaper than a Rolls Royce. Would you buy it? Ehang. 
Next up is the Ehang 184, also a Chinese invention. This aerial vehicle broke records when it launched in January 2016 and became the world's first autonomous passenger drone. Weighing just 440 pounds, the Ehang 184 has a single seat cabin with eight propellers on its four arms, giving the machine enough thrust to soar and safely operate at altitudes of 1,000 feet. Besides staying in the air at gravity-defying heights, its eight propellers are capable of straight vertical liftoffs without the need for a traditional runway. That could help you fulfill all your dreams of lifting your car up and flying ahead of the traffic you're stuck in. The cabin also comes with a tablet console that allows the passenger input commands to remotely control the vehicle while seeing real-time flight data and status. With a flight time similar to the Xpeng X2 at 23 minutes, the Ehang 184 is perfect for intercity trips at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. True to its record, the aircraft also has autonomous landing capabilities, which is perfect for drivers that are less skilled at flying and need a little help. Despite these impressive specs, the Ehang 184 has taken a backseat to newer models like the 216. One of the most notable differences between the two models is that the latter can easily seat two passengers in its sleek futuristic cabin, making it more efficient than its earlier counterpart. In addition, the Ehang 216 is also more technologically advanced with an improved battery life that offers longer flight times at higher altitudes. It's even less susceptible to adverse weather conditions, making it the perfect vehicle to navigate strong winds, rain, and fog on land or in the air. Terra Fugia Transition If a sports car is more your style, then you'll love the Terra Fugia Transition. In 2006, several MIT graduates with a vision to create a roadable aircraft came together to launch the initial design for the Terra Fugia. After receiving funding through strategic partnerships, their first prototype was ready in March 2012, and it's been upwards since then. At 1,430 pounds, it's a marvel that this car plate hybrid can get off the ground, let alone maintain impressive speeds of 110 miles per hour while in the air. As a result, the engineers working on the vehicle had to apply for a special exemption from the Federal Aviation Administration, that's FAA, to get extra weight allowance. On the road, the Terrafugia transition reaches cruising speed of up to 70 miles per hour, powered by a robust Rotex 912 ULS engine, the popular choice for light aircrafts. Thankfully, the wings are both foldable, so you can easily store it in a garage when you're not in flight mode. On the flip side, when you're ready to soar through the air, it's as easy as driving to the airport, spreading your 27.8 feet long wings and taking off into the skies. But how close is the Terrafugia transition team to seeing their road aircraft become street legal? Well, as of today, while they do have an airworthiness certificate allowing them legally to operate in the U.S. skies, well, they're still waiting on approval from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to be roadworthy. After more than 10 years and three different models, the company is still facing challenges scaling that threshold, possibly because of their exposed propellers and stabilizers. Parajet Explorer for thrill seekers, the Parajet Explorer might be more up your alley. The Explorer is a light sports aircraft that seamlessly transitions from the open road to clear blue skies. But unlike the airborne vehicles in this video that rely on rotor blades, the Explorer features a semicircular wing design attached to parachutes that allow it to glide through the air. At 516 pounds, its light carbon fiber composite body easily lifts off the ground and reaches air speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. It also reaches heights of 15,000 feet with a remarkable 2.5 hour flight time. Once airborne, its open cockpit also gives riders panoramic views of the countryside, allowing you to feel the wind in your hair and offering a more immersive flight experience. Besides, its intuitive controls makes it easy to ride and safe for newbie pilots to enjoy the flight without ruining the fun with tedious controls. As a car, the Explorer has a strong tubular chassis and a lightweight composite panel that makes steering much more efficient. 
When on the road, the wings are easily foldable and stored away for convenient transportation. Additionally, its compact design with its powerful Rotron RT600 XT rotary engine makes it perfect for both on the road and in the air performance. The car also features a double wishbone shock absorber and rugged off-road tires that make it perfect for navigating turbulent terrains. While this flying car is currently available for purchase and use, the company largely markets it as a recreational vehicle and not for daily commute. And although its controls are simplified, you still need to obtain a Parajet license to fly one. Before we take off into the next insane flying machine, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest on everything AI related. Avatera vs Pal V Liberty Earlier this year, Dubai-based Avatera made history by acquiring over 100 Pal V Liberty flying cars. According to the company's managing director, Mohanad Wada, the Pal V is the perfect tool for our customers' regional travel requirements, offering a combination of flying and driving. It's truly an innovation that will change mobility as we know it. And he couldn't be closer to the truth with the company's target timeline of bringing Pal-V to the market in 2025 or early 2026. With a stylish Italian exterior design, the Pal-V looks a lot like a helicopter with rotor blades above the aircraft that can be autonomously folded up while on the road, and rear rotors that provide the vehicle with more stability both on land and in the air. However, as a gyroplane, the Pal-V is a lot easier to fly compared to a helicopter, making it the perfect hybrid vehicle for drivers with little or no flight experience. Its 200 horsepower engine is also a lot more powerful than some of the previous flying cars I've mentioned, allowing the Pal-V to reach incredible heights of up to 11,000 feet and maintain a significantly longer flight time of 4.3 hours on half its fuel reserve. If you're interested in being one of the first people to own this drivable aircraft, the company is currently calling for pre-orders on their Pioneer edition. Volocopter 2X this one-man air vehicle has one of the most futuristic designs on the list. With its all-white body and sleek 18-blade rotors enclosed in a circular pattern, the Volocopter 2X looks like a flying machine from another planet. However, its distinctive design is more than just surface level. Unlike helicopters that are so deafening the crew has to use earplugs, the German aircraft is notably quiet and inaudible until you get within 120 meters of it. That feature also allows it to seamlessly blend into the cityscape as much as it can considering its stark white color. But the company is dedicated to breaking records in other ways as well. As I highlighted earlier, the Volocopter has a unique rotor design that compromises 18 small rotors surrounded by a protective casing. While that choice does add to its futuristic and aesthetic appeal, it serves a functional purpose by ensuring the plane stays airborne even when one of the rotors fails mid-flight. In other words, each rotor operates independently, optimizing airflow and improving the vehicle's efficiency. The design also provides extra lift to the aircraft, enabling vertical takeoff and landing, which is ideal for urban areas with limited runway space. Under the brand name Velocity Air, they hope to be the first electric air taxi in Europe. Imagine being able to hail an electric aircraft to take you from home to the office like an Uber. They're also currently working towards being the first internationally certified EV toll on the continent. Considering the company promises that the final model will produce zero in-flight emissions in line with many European country sustainability expectations, they're set to make it. In August 2024, the Volocopter 2X also completed a successful flight test at the Palace of Versailles, taking the company one step closer to achieving their goals. Kleinvision Air Car Giving the Volocopter 2X some European competition is the Kleinvision Air Car. The Slovakian company that produced this aircraft poured $2.3 million into developing its prototype. And it paid off when the Vision Car received its Certificate of Airworthiness from the Slovak Transport Authority in 2022. So don't be surprised if you see one of these above your head while in Bratislava. 
The two-seater flying car is a true marvel of engineering, transforming a car to an aircraft in just two and a half minutes. It also has state-of-the-art safety features with a ballistic parachute that can engage when the rider deploys it. The air car also uses a traditional internal combustion engine for propulsion similar to the one used by Aeromobile, another roadable aircraft that closed down in 2023 after failing to get enough financing. Of course, that's no surprise considering one of the air car's designers, Professor Stefan Klein, also worked on the Aeromobile and has experience with building flying cars going back as far as the late 1980s. As a plane, the Clyde Vision Air Car can reach breakneck speeds of 124 miles per hour, while the cruising speed averages around 106 miles per hour. That's in part due to its aerodynamic fuselage, which provides a better lift for the plane. In 2024, the air car took to the skies with its first passenger, electronic music pioneer, Jean-Michael Jarre. When you're ready to head back to the ground, its retractable wings and tail surface conveniently and fold away and create a downforce that improves the car's stability. Despite these features, the Vision Air car is still awaiting its road vehicle certification. How excited are you at the prospect of having flying cars? Do you trust that they'll be safe? Let us know what you think in the comments below.